Hey, what's up guys, it's Mike with Alpha Reptile back with another video today. Thank you for joining Lucas and I once again uh, on the channel here. We're going to be talking about the Buena Picturata, which are, I don't think you guys can see it, but we'll have footage of them. Lucas will be talking mostly about the Chaco Rainforest and what you guys can do to help save one of the highest biodiversity rainforests in the world. Definitely make sure you stay tuned. We're in for an awesome video. So the Chaco Rainforest is probably the most important rainforest in the world that you've never heard of. And it's a region that stretches from Panama, uh, through Colombia and uh, into Ecuador and just a tip of it into Peru. This is a major migratory path for a lot of birds, butterflies, bats and a lot of other animals as well. Um, but it's also the wettest rainforest in the world which then as you were saying uh, has uh, one of the most biodiverse areas that uh, found on the planet. Uh, well over 11,000 species of plants, um, thousands of species of uh, different animals that are only found in that little region. And we hear lots of stuff on the internet and on TV about saving the Amazon rainforest and and it does need saving for sure it needs it needs our help yeah um, and we hear uh, all the recent news from Borneo how that's just been annihilated yeah well, the same thing's happening in the Choco region of the rainforest. Um, what's happening is the, the countries down there are selling the rainforest to whomever is buying, whether it's uh, a logging company so they can sell off the, the woods to, to furnish our fancy homes and make uh, furniture, yeah. uh, or to uh, the, yeah, you know, the big industry, palm oil industry right now, or they're selling to a bunch of uh, conservationists that are willing to buy the land and do nothing with it. And that's your choice. So we're yeah. gonna talk a little bit about that right now. One of the species I have here is the Boana picturata. And the Boana picturatus is a, is a uh, species of uh, tree frog that lives uh, only in a small section of the Ecuador rainforest. Unfortunately, there's only about 2% of that rainforest left. The Boana picturata is a species of frog that um, they do have captive breeding programs uh, in Ecuador right now. The Wakiri breeding program is, is, has been successful with them. Yep. Uh, the Manchester Zoo in the UK has been successfully breeding them. Mm -hmm. There was an individual in Germany who successfully had them breed one time. And we're fortunate enough to be the third entity outside of Ecuador that has been able to have the Boana picturata breed for us. I'm going to introduce you to one of the females here. Now, one of the cool things about them is that they actually have one of the largest eyeballs to body ratio of any animal on the planet. You can just see how, like, that metallic brown on there. Even the pattern on her back, it kind of looks like a, uh, well, some people say butterfly. I think it looks like a sea turtle. We have sexual dimorphism happening here. So the females are definitely larger than the males. And we have the males sleeping right here. Um, and they do change color a little bit depending on the light and any stressful situation. So she's really nice and dark and brown, which um, is the color that they'd be when they're in a high light situation. He is a lighter phase, you know, almost a yellowy phase, just to match and mimic the, the bottom of the leaves. And this is to help camouflage them against any predators. So the dark brown, they could look like a, a stick or a piece of boot, uh, poop, actually. You know, this is a mimicry here. Uh, whereas on the bottom, it just looks like the bottom of the leaf. Care for these guys is... Not a whole lot is known, but it's actually quite similar to uh, the red-eyed tree frog care. We have a breeding group actually in this uh, terraria right now. Oh, there she goes. Uh, this enclosure is 40 inches by 19 inches by 40 inches tall, which gives them lots of room to be able to hop around in here. All right, guys, so that's actually gonna do it for the Boana Picturata, as well as Save the Choco. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and maybe have learned something a little bit more about some of the other rainforests that are in the world that you typically don't hear about, like the Choco Rainforest. Uh, a lot of people hear about the Amazon, as you said. A lot of people hear about Borneo and stuff like that, but honestly, the Choco is one of the most biodiverse rainforest like we said in the world and this is something that is definitely worth the cause so what can they do i just wanted to mention here that there are a couple other ways that you can help out with saving the choco rainforest go to save the choco.com and find some initiatives and different ways to donate directly to the cause i'll leave the link down below in the description lucas what can we do personally to help minimize deforestation and all the tragedies that go along with it cutting down our usage of palm oil and doing some research and find out uh, what's in the food that we're eating the clothes that we're wearing uh, the bottles that we drink from this is all stuff that's it's, it's becoming bigger and bigger throughout the world unfortunately it also means that we have to cut down parts of the rainforest in order to grow this product so we have to find other sustainable methods uh, so we can keep 
these guys in the wild. Absolutely, you guys. So I'll leave all the links down below to Save the Choco where you can donate. Um, that is going to be the main source of income for them. They are basically just raising money to buy swaths of the rainforest and protect it. They're not going to do anything with it. It's just so that loggers and various other companies don't come in, purchase the rainforest, and hack it to a shred. Last year I was actually in Belize and we got to see firsthand just how terrible it can be. Quite literally, they chop down the whole rainforest and light it on fire and watch it burn. So it is a terrifying sight to see and it's something that you want to try and prevent, obviously, especially with the crisis of biodiversity that's happening now with humans causing the sixth mass extinction in the world history, I suppose. Mm -hmm. So this is just a little bit of what you guys can do to go help out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed some incredibly rare frogs in captivity and I hope you guys liked the video and if you if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you smash that like button and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, any information that you're looking for on the Buena Picturata, uh, I will answer. If not, I'll refer you to Lucas and maybe he'll peruse the video when it goes up just to see if there's any questions. But uh, beyond that, if you're looking for more content like this, I would love to know in the comment section down below. I would like to get a little bit more conservation on the channel, maybe get some scientists on to talk about just exactly what's happening in our world today. This is just the beginning to that, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more of that content in the future, make sure you click that subscribe button, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks, Lucas, for your time. Thank you.